let's begin using one of Emacs's major mods called org mode. So I'm going to open up Emacs. And here I have, uh, if I do a control X, control F to open up my file browser. Before that, I'm going to hit F11 for full screen. Then dot Emacs D and our configuration file that is in it .el. Increase the font size by hitting Control X and plus. So these are like the previous configurations which I have done. So I have added like two more packages to this. So the first one is like uh, org bullets. So you can use this so that your org file will look a little bit more beautiful. So here I have done like use package or bullets and made sure it will be installed with an ensure T and have specified the configuration so that when I enter org mode, org mode bullets will be used. Similarly, org mode like superstar, this package is actually a bit new version of org mode bullets. So the thing is you can use this with a similar configuration. You can use this as like this. You need to use uh, use package and you need to specify the package name that is org superstar ensure t to make sure it's installed and we specify the configuration hook to make sure it starts when we enter org mode so basically we do that by using a hook so add hook when we enter org mode hook we are going to specify we need to have this org superstar enabled so that will start these two packages when we enter org mode. So what the purpose of using these two packages are like having a bit beautiful bullets and uh, other symbols inside org mode. That's all. So after you have added this to your configuration, you can do uh, control X, control S to save your configuration. Then you can do like if you go to the end of the file, you can do a control X, control E to execute. So after it grabbed everything from helper or helper for that matter uh, you can begin using org mode so i'm going to close this window control x k to kill this buffer we are going to open up a new file so control x control f and we are going to specify the file name as uh, example dot org so you can specify the extension .org for an org file. And if I hit enter again, it's going to open up the new file. So alt x, that is meta x. And if I do an org dash mode, it's going to enter org mode. So you, if you see this uh, major mode is org in your bar or your mode line, you can confirm you are inside uh, org mode. So control X, control plus to increase the font size of my Emacs so that it will be convenient for you to see. So the way you use org mode is pretty simple. If you do like a star and followed by title, this will be your first level title. Then if you need like uh, your first level title, uh, Again, you can do a meta enter. So, do like uh, title two. And if you need to start a second level title, you do two stars and you specify uh, subtitle. If you need to have like uh, further away, you do three stars. So, one, two, three. So, sub subtitle something like this then if you need to have bullets you have like uh, two options you can have an ordered list or an ordered list so one type is specifying plus so if you hit plus and space it's going to have uh, bullets like this you can use like uh, list one and if you need to start similar all you need to do is an alt and enter that is meta and enter so 
you will get the same bullet again so list 2 enter well, I'm sorry uh, meta enter for list 3 and that's how you do like an ordered list you can also use uh, dashes so dash and space uh, uh, list 4 so you can see it changes immediately if I hit alt enter so let's revert away from this let's add a new heading that is like uh, the fourth level sub so sub 4 let me go down a little bit so here I'm going to after going down I'm going to put these dashes for list 1 over here and similarly if I hit uh, meta enter you can see we have this so list 2 meta enter for this one again list 3 so that's how you do an unordered list so if you need an ordered list you can do something like uh, here I'm going to create sub 5 this is going to look horrendous but this is for demonstration purpose so no problem so you can specify the number 1 and you can specify like uh, item 1 alt enter for another one item 2 alt enter for this again so item 3 so you can see like uh, when we do an alt and enter arithmetic and enter it uh, automatically detects whichever is under whichever bullet we are using that is whether we are having an unordered list or ordered list and it's adapting accordingly so that's how you use list unordered or ordered according to your use case and if you want to put some links over here inside square brackets you specify the url so https colon double slash uh, w dot google dot com something like this and if i close that out you can see it's just link Besides, if I don't want the entire length, I can specify something like uh, a description for this. So if I do, if I open up a square bracket again and type like uh, search and if I close that square bracket and close that one more time, you can see it uh, reduced like. So if you drag your mouse over there, you can see link and you can see the link. So you can open up this link if you want but uh, not going to if you want you can do that then the next part is you can open up or collapse this entire thing so if under title 2 if I add some text like text and if I don't want to see this for now I can hit tab so it will minimize everything under that so if I hit tab again it's going to expand you get the idea minimal version or fully open version according to your use case then inside org mode uh, one of another things you can perform are like uh, to do list so so I'm going to give six times and to do to open up a to do and I'm going to specify the name so let's see something like purchase and we can hit enter so we need something like pen I can have uh, this again like I can have these are like check boxes if you want and you can use a key binding to check or uncheck the box inside the box so then you can specify timestamps if you, you can specify timestamps like this to insert a timestamp you can do a control C dot so control C and dot so from here you can specify whichever date you want and if you hit enter it's going to add the timestamp like this and the next thing is uh, we have uh, 
a basic work mode file setup. So if you want to export this to an HTML file, all we have to do is control C, control E and if we hit H two times, it's going to export to HTML. If we hit C and F, it's going to have like uh, exported to calendar. If you have all these options for like latex, ODT, all these things. So I'm going to hit H two times. So currently you can see it's uh, like it wrote the HTML file to that location. Uh, let me exit out of Emacs first. So control X, control C. Do I want to save? Yes. Let it be there. So I have this file called example.html. So if I open that up in a web browser, you can see we have this neatly formatted uh, HTML file according to our specification. So we have this uh, title number. If you want, you can remove that. You have the name of the author. You can remove that if you want. You have your timestamp. Then you have your list and you have your title with number all these things. So if you want to remove your table of contents also, you can remove that. That's according to your use case. So some of the things which I forgot to show, I will show you right now. I don't wanna like, uh, I do, if I open up Emacs again, let me close my file browser and hit 11 for full screen. I'm going to open up that uh, same org file. Uh, okay, so if you want to do like basic text formatting, star and uh, like star and star for bold, slash and uh, is for italics and uh, plus for uh, strike through, then underscore for like underline. And if you want verbatim, you can have like uh, equals. Something like that. So these are like uh, basic font formatting. So if I control C, control E to export this to HTML again. And control X, control C to exit out of Emacs, save the file and open up my file browser if I open up the HTML file again you can see we have this bold text uh, thing in italics we have the strike through we have underlined and verbatim so you can use that according to your use case to make uh, your org file or uh, your content more beautiful so inside org mode if you want you can do like presentation and all this stuff that's entirely up to you so this is like FLE small version like small demonstration of em emacs org mode so if you want to learn more you can go through some documentations i will link some in the description so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day